Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI. In this video on Power BI, let us take a look into one of the most interactive custom visuals, the Time Brush Slicer. Let us start. So the Time Brush Slicer, as the name says, is a combination of slicer as well as a chart for a time range. In simple words, you can say that it is a combination of a chart and a slicer that takes into account the different time range in its axis. The most interesting thing is it also allows you to allows you to filter for different dates. Let us see a direct implementation of time brush slicer as a first step. So the time brush slicer, as as you know, is a custom visual. Hence, you might have to import it from either a marketplace or using a file. I have already imported my time brush slicer, and it is here. So this is the symbol for a time brush slicer. As you see, when I hover on it. I get to see that it is a time brush slicer. I'm clicking on this, so my time brush slicer starts appearing here. In this, I'm just going to bring in my date as my x axis and my order quantity as my values. As you can see, now I've got a visual where I see the order quantity for different dates across the entire time period. I can also show this in a different way where I have the order date as a slicer separately and a clustered bar chart showing the quantity across different time period. So this chart in a way is similar to the time burst slicer. The combination of this slicer and a horizontal and a vertical bar chart is the time brush slicer in simple words. Now you get to see a different functionality when you go, when you select some items on this slicer. Yes, you heard it right. This slicer allows you to select for a specific time period of your interest. As you can see, when I double click on this, I get a I get a selection in the slicer. Now I drag it. This means that I'm selecting only the time period in the month of October to November or October to December for the year 2010. As you can see, when I select on my visual, my bottom visual gets filtered based on the selection. So this happens for any time period that I select in the time brush slicer. Now let us see a direct implementation of time brush slicer in a real time scenario. Now I have a dashboard. This dashboard shows me different visuals. An order date slicer, uh, order date by order quantity by order date, uh, horizontal uh, vertical bar chart, uh, a table showing the values of customer name, order quantity and order priority, another table showing order priority and order quantity, a third table showing product category and order, order quantity, and a fourth pie chart showing my profit by region. When you as you can see from this implementation, when I filter on the order date, all my visuals get filtered. This is a pretty usual functionality and almost everybody knows this is the way a slicer works. Now, since we have order date and order quantity by order date visual here, we are going to use a time brush slicer to convert this two visuals into a single visual. Now I'm going to another page where I have implemented this. So all the other visuals are same except the top two visuals. The top two visuals of a slicer and a vertical bar chart is now converted into a time brush slicer. This time brush slicer serves both as a slicer as well as a chart. Now this shows that I've selected for the time period up to April from March in the year 2010. Similarly, I am going to select this. This means that I am selecting a time period between May and July for the year 2011. As you can see from the below visuals that all the visuals are getting filtered for my selection in the top time brush slicer. In addition to the filtering functionality and the interactiveness the time brush slicer gives us, the time brush slicer is pretty similar to other visuals that is it also has its own properties
it also has its own properties. As you can see from here, it has different properties like general, selection, display, legend, y-axis. And there are also other uh, typical properties such as background, lo uh, lock aspect, border, and the newly provided visual headers. The display, when you open, gives you option to reverse your border bar order. That is, your two, now your show, uh, chart shows the data from 2009 to 2012 or 2013. Now when I click on this, the order is going to change. Now I'm just uh, reverting it and this also gives us the functionality to change the width of the bar. I'm just changing the width to 10. As you can see, my bar width changes in the time brush slicer. I'm just reverting it back to 2. This also gives you facility to add a title as you can see here. In addition to that, you have an option called selection. So this is going to help you in holding or releasing the selections that you have made every time in your time brush slicer. Now it is on, which means when I filter on this and when I'm going to click on something else, your selection is going to be uh, lost. When I switch this off, when I switch, uh, when I When I switch off the properties in the time brush laser, it is almost going to behave in the reverse order. That's all in this part of the video on time brush laser in Power BI. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.